here's the review I said I was gonna do. Now, I did uh, did let my mom smell it, aka Brooke, aka my mom, like I just said. Um, so she sniffed them, which is good. Which I will, I I will take them out of the package, and so be right back. And here he is out of the packaging, and wow, good job, Neca. I love this Predator figure. He this just wow, outstanding, in my opinion. As a predator fan, this is this is one of my probably favorite predators um, figures. But yeah, but let's get into the articulation first. And then we'll look at it. Yeah. So articulation wise, for the mask, because he does come with two interchangeable heads, which will we will get that at, um, in a second when we go to the accessories. So. That's how much he can look up. That's how much he can look down. Which is pretty good. It's not that bad. Up, down, side to side. Okay. Um, now I'm moving down to the app crutch. So, app crutch. There is an app crutch. There. Right there. But yeah, this piece is a, a soft plastic, so that's cool. But yeah, moving on. Just have to scope too. Um, this is like a hardish, soft plastic, hardish, soft plastic. It's cool though. I like that. Um, looking back, on it. this is also a like, like that feature. Uh, and for the arms, a little stiff. So, but yeah, he does have like a face mask. That much. Like that much. And that forward. I really don't know why NECA does this to the, the NECA figures or to the Predator figures. Just put paint right there. Don't, I wouldn't paint it. It's just bad. Especially when you want to thin the arm and you don't want to break it. It's very bad. In my opinion, I just. Yeah, it doesn't want to. doesn't want to do that. This piece is loose right here, too. Oh, it's not push-up, please. Give me a second. Give me a second. Alright, give me a second. Just try to fix this piece right here. I do not know why this is getting so hard. I haven't gone over the articulation with this figure yet. But, just by looking at it. But this arm was fine to meet the articulation, but this one, it's a little rough. I don't want to break the bag, so let's just pop this down. There you go. Fine. It's just rough because of that paint job. I don't know why Nick did that. Nick is just not paint. He's left. With a brown instead of just not painting that. So. It's only in my downfall about this figure, so I think I dislike about it. Otherwise, I like everything about it right now. So, that's how much you can go forward. Both arms, left and right. Swing that much back. This one is a little harder. Yeah, it's a little looser too, nice and cute. That's a bottom one, so great. This, this this is bothering me. Uh, so yes, and the fists do not move as much. This now this now this is just bothering me. Cause look at that 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 bothers me. That's not supposed to happen. I don't think. 
because the views I've been watching on this figure. Let's, let's see what's wrong with that. This one's this one's perfect. This, that that part is crap out. It's a neck of fingers. Never knew. Okay, I think I'm gonna skip this part of the arms. Sorry guys. I just don't wanna do that with this one. There's a neck of fingers. You know how they can break easy. So, moving on. Down. Down to the figure. Arms look, so the paint job looks okay. We're still looking at the articulation, so moving down. He does have articulation on the legs. Both of them. We can go that far back. And that far forward. It's kind of a little bit of a I mean, not weight swivel, foot swivel. Just like in his knees, like I said, does have ankle pivot, which is good. Okay, it does have articulation right here. I'm gonna show it again. It's really loose, it's really like, really soft. We got the collector's items too for this uh, predator. That looks good. I think that's the way it's supposed to look. Instead of just straight. Um, straight doesn't really work, but if you like do it like that, it can stay. Or you can do it like that. Which I prefer this way. Like if he's angry, I prefer that, like that way. It's kinda cool. But yeah. Um yeah, look now. We will look at the paint job on this figure. Which, uh, it's a neck figure, so obviously it's gonna look good. In my opinion, neck figure on their paint job is pretty good. Not so much on the articulation. Some some are really good. But paint job overall on NECA, it's really good. Head scope looks good. Helmet looks fantastic. Down to the body. I like that. Effect damage was also messed up right here. Great sculpt. Armor looks good. Paint job looks really good. Netting looks okay. If you've seen the movie, they do, he does use them. In the back of the arm, that looks good. Wait, little falls right there and right there. Doesn't bother me as much. Like I say, it's a little Good. Doesn't bother me as much though. that up. Good. But, better, but, oh wow. Looks good too. Too. Pin jump right here looks good. Turn around looks good. The disc looks good too. Too bad you can't take them off. Some plastic ish part. Short again looks good too. Looks like a little, little blue spot right there. Wow. That, I was not expecting that. Wow. That's, that, that stands out. Well, at least, uh, at least uh, it's different from the others. From everybody else's, mine has a blue spot and shorter pad. <laughs> That's cool. 
I love the map though, no, really good. Reds look good, nice and black, and soft. That color, so black, and some of the ones on it. Hey, what do you call it? And there's silver, or gray. Paint job right there, too. The mask looks like you can take it off, but you can't. That really does trick me sometimes. I don't know why. But yeah. I love this figure, it looks good. Overall, that little, this, and that blue spot, it's a good figure. Perfect. Like I said, this, this bothers me a little bit, but this figure is really good. But yeah. Now for the accessories that he comes with. He does come with two interchangeable hands, arms, and, and you can then change his hands and put them on the close fist. This is blades because for each pack. Each one. The two. Of the interchangeable head to the max version. Paint job on this figure looks really good. And this head. Looks scary and cool. I like that. And then the right detail too. And you can change the hands up too. Like I said, you can change like the hands out. Put like the open hands on the close fist. You can try that. Now let's try switching this arm. with the arm which I kind of like this it looks really good you can do the same with them with the other one too but yeah looks really good and and you can fit the blades on too and how how that works is is um you just can like see these little two holes right there It is, it is a little hard to put these in because it's like trying to not knock over the other one. Got to be super careful putting these in too. You don't want to break them off now, do you? They're really hard. Unless these are the long ones. There we go. That looks good. Can't put them in. It's just so difficult. It's not a bad thing about this figure. I wish they didn't do that. It just might take me a while. If it takes me a while, I'll, I'll just like pause the video. Ex extra work for John. Now for the other, now, 
this hand, now for this, and then we're gonna have to fix this. Loose, and well, not loosed on this hand, but the other one, this. But yeah, let me try to switch it out. Just gotta be really careful. I think it's gonna go swinging back. Like swinging back soon as I pop it off. Oh wow. I was just saying, is that actually gonna stay? And now, total opposite. Now let's try to fit the blades on the other, other, uh, This one is a crap on me because it's scary just to put the other one on. It's like really, really scary. Because you're, you're afraid you're gonna like break, like break one of them off. Sorry guys, this is gonna be a long video. break the thing off, then break the thing off, okay, so apparently I have it on this one, I'll be right back, this might take me we are back, oh buddy, that was probably the hardest thing to do is not break the blade off these, off, off of this figure, man, the hardest thing to put on on this figure, in my opinion, is pin the blades on. That's that's like the hardest thing to do on this figure. Because I got to really put them in. But yeah, that's pretty hard to do in my opinion. Well, wow. breaking them or doing anything. But yeah. Oh bro, it's a good figure. Anyway, um, now we are, so that's what it looks like with the blade on, like I said. Uh, but yeah, but now let's try the head. Oh, buddy, let's try that. Without breaking the figure. Yay. And we're all trying to break. You know what, I'm just going to, like, pop the hands off. I mean arms, because I am not taking those plates off. A pain in the butt. I swear to God. They're like super hard up. Like, put them off. Well, not put them like super hard, but not like break off. And it would be really nice if they take the short again, you know. Because that's like another issue. Can't take the short again, or can you? I haven't. The reviews I watched, I don't think nobody has tried that. Ow, that hurt the crap out of my hand. Oh my god, this better be worth it. Oh wow, the hole is looks so small. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm. I'll be right back again. I can't believe this is actually being uh, like taking forever just to get the just to get the hole bigger. But you know what? It's just hard to do that. So I'll be right back while you try to the second half. And here he is, finally, with the unmasked. But yeah, looks really good. Very smooth. Yeah, guys. 
Being sarcastic, I'm serious. But yeah, this is a good video. Not being sarcastic, <laughs> what, what I just did. But no, seriously, this is a really good figure. I like it. I love it. Definitely, in my opinion, is a must have predator in your collection, especially if it's off the new Predator movie, which a lot of people didn't like it that I've been hearing. Since I saw it myself, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't like really bad, like super bad, but it was an okay movie. It's not perfect, but it, it's fun to watch. I mean, the comedy is really funny. Everything else, it's okay. But yeah, I heard they're also making the, a figure of a uh, uh, the big uh, the big predator you see in the trailers. They're making a figure of that one, so hopefully I can hopefully I can get him or John or John or mom. Please, Mom. Um, but anyway, yeah. But yeah, they are making a big figure for uh, that and that uh, that predator that I've been seeing on Instagram and social media and all that. But yeah, but yeah. Overall, this is a great figure. Uh, I'll be right back. Just let me get some some uh, other predators I can compare it to. Here he is, next to Wolf Predator from Monster Arts. Which obviously he's really short because he's a Monster Arts figure. So let me just get this figure standing right, standing up straight. Running and coming. Predator figure from the movie Predators, the 2010 film. Classic battle damage um, predator from Predators 2010, like I said, the movie. Around the same height, but he's a little taller. I should have just paused the video and just go get all the predators, but 
too late for that. So I don't want to do that. Here he is too. Oh, crap, I forgot this predator's name. I can't believe it too. Because we did make a vi I think we made a video of when I first got him. I got him from my buddy. Man, I can't believe I forgot this predator's name. I am so stupid. Please forgive me. But yeah, they're around the same height. Well, actually, he's a little taller. We both were so. Yeah. And this predator's, I think he's also the 2010 uh, Alien vs. Predator game. Good game. Go try it sometime. It's a really good game. I think that's all the predators I'm gonna get because the rest are hard to get to. And plus, I don't knock nothing else over, so I think that's all the predators I'm gonna get for this size comparison. But yeah, this figure is a good figure. I love it. I love the paint job. My only issues with this predator figure is mine has this problem, but it doesn't bother me as much. It, well, actually, it bothers me a lot, but what are you gonna do? Um. And it has this problem, a little blue job, a little blow. Blue. I'm blue. 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 Messed up. And, um, yeah. I think that's all. And the hardest thing to do is put the second head on and put these blades on. on, on Overall, this is a good, good Predator figure, so, yeah. But yeah, guys, like, comment, tell me what you think about this figure, if you have them for yourself. Do you have the same problem do I have with this, with his right arm? But, yeah. But yeah, guys. But yeah, this is David saying bye from the Larger Family Hunters. So, bye guys! Everybody, today I am doing a review, well, a re-review of the Fugitive Predator. And that's what this big bad toy store uh, box is from. We bought a second one because the first one, um, it had it, it had a messed up one. Let me go get it. up foot and I did not see this in the review but it did have a messed up foot and messed up and he have no right foot so yeah and yeah and the shorter can was loose too like you saw in my other my other fugitive predator review so yeah Um, but yeah um, so John talked to Big Bag Toy Store and he sent them a couple pictures of the, uh, the right foot and it was the same foot um, and the shorter can was loose and it had a big blue smudge right there so as you can saw in my other review if you haven't seen it go check it out um, but so he they uh, send us one for so they send us a second one so hopefully this one has no issues it shouldn't so yeah so yeah let's open it here he is out of the packaging for the second time um let's see how he looks and there is our second fugitive predator and it looks like he has both of the right feet so yeah, hopefully he he looks. So we got two fugitive predators. One messed up one, 
one good one. So thank you, Big Fat Toy Story, for sending us a second of um, uh, Fugitive Predator. Thank you for that. So yeah. If you want to see my review of um, the Fugitive Predator, go to the uh, go to that review. Look up the Larger Family Hunters and just scroll down, and you'll find me doing a review of this guy. Because basically, this is the same. This is basically going to be the same review if I was going to do it. Um, this is basically the same figure. It's just different feet and shirt and cans messed up and has a big blue smudge. But yeah. But yeah, so basically the same one. Well, it is the same one. It's just different. But yeah, guys. Dave saying bye from the lot of the members. Just it was just a little update. But yeah guys. Bye.